Welcome to the You Can Be Healthier TV channel by the Wings of Love Nonprofit Corporation. My name is Ron Hammond. Today I will be talking to Dr. Mamada Chitraki, a specialist in Los Angeles, California. She will answer the 10 most important questions sent by our audience about diabetes. We invite you to contact us through this YouTube channel or from our website youcanbehealthier.org. Send us your questions on health issues for the experts. Every week You Can Be Healthier TV will bring the distinguished physicians to respond to your questions. Now, I welcome Dr. Chet for keep thanking her for being here. Doctor, what are the most common issues with diabetes? Well, diabetes can affect a number of organs in the body. One of the most important complications is called neuropathy, which is nerve damage, and it can often affect the feet and legs, causing numbness and pain. But also it can affect other parts of the body, such as the digestive system and blood vessels, leading to devastating consequences, such as stroke and heart attacks. Now, diabetes can also commonly affect the kidneys, making it difficult for the body to excrete waste and fluid from the body. What is the difference between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes? Now more than 36 million people in the United States have diabetes and one in five of them don't know it. Now 96 million adults in the United States have pre-diabetes and 8 in 10 of them don't know it. So it's a huge problem. Diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death in America, and it may be underreported. Now the two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2, occur in different types of people. Type 1 is usually inherited from both parents, and people are usually young. The body does not make insulin well, or at all, and the insulin is needed to digest glucose and make glucose food that we eat into energy for the body. Therefore, people with type 1 diabetes will need to inject insulin in order for them to stay alive. Now with type 2 diabetes, which is the most common, the body either doesn't make insulin well or use it well. And that can be treated by pills or by injecting insulin. There's another type of diabetes, which is called gestational diabetes, and that occurs in pregnant people. Now it may go, uh, go away once the patient has delivered the baby. However, that patient and the children are prone to get diabetes later on in life. What are the first signs of being a diabetic? Some of the symptoms of diabetes to look out for can be if you're urinating too often or feeling very thirsty or hungry even though you've eaten, cuts and bruises may be slow to heal, you may get blurry vision. In type 1 diabetes, people may get weight loss even though they're eating more. And then in type 2 diabetes, people may experience neuropathy where they feel numbness and tingling in hands and feet. So those are some of the signs and symptoms to watch out for. Does stress cause diabetes? Stress does not cause diabetes, but it can lead to difficulty controlling the blood sugar levels. Plus, having diabetes on top of all the regular ups and downs of life can be difficult to manage. So understanding diabetes can be helpful. Is it possible to reverse diabetes? It may be possible to put diabetes into remission. That is when the blood sugar levels are no longer in the diabetic range. Now, 
there's no guarantee that this can stay in remission forever and it won't reoccur. So it's very important to keep an eye on it. Now, one of the most important factors in controlling diabetes can be maintaining weight. So losing just 5% of body weight can make a big difference and it can lead to fewer medications, controlling blood sugar well, and overall good health. So having a balanced diet and good food, maintaining weight can really help to control diabetes. Can you be healthy and still get diabetes? We often assume that if a person is thin or skinny, then they're healthy, but that's not the case. Insulin resistance can occur in any people, and that can make people prone to developing high blood sugar levels and diabetes. Now, type 2 diabetes is more common in obese people. What do people with diabetes need to survive? You need insulin every day in your body to stay alive and control the blood sugar levels. So in type 1 diabetes, people usually need to inject insulin. Type 2 diabetes, which is the most common, can be controlled by either diet and medication, by pills, or by injecting insulin. How do you prevent diabetes? There are a number of things you can do to help prevent diabetes. One is to maintain a good body weight. So losing weight can reduce diabetes. Also eating healthy foods such as plant-based foods can provide vitamins, minerals, and healthy carbohydrates. Eating healthy fats can help. And also doing exercise, physical activity. Now skip the fad diets and choose a healthier choice and that will help you to prevent diabetes. Why do people develop diabetes? The exact cause of diabetes is still unknown. Type 1 and type 2 diabetes may be due to a combination of genetic and environmental factors. In all cases, the pancreas does not produce enough insulin to control blood sugar levels well. Are there natural remedies to control type 2 diabetes? Metformin is a synthetic derivative of galagene and guanidine, both natural compounds found in herbal medicines. Now other types of natural remedies can help with type 2 diabetes. These include number one, apple cider vinegar. The primary compound is acetic acid that has a number of health benefits. Number two, berberine. This can help with blood sugar levels and HbA1c levels. Number three, cinnamon. This is a medically healthy indulgence that can help blood sugar and cholesterol levels. Number four, fenugreek. Fenugreek can help with cholesterol levels and HbA1c levels. Number five, gymnema. This has medical evidence currently catching up showing that it can improve glucose metabolism and insulin resistance. This can also be an adjunct to traditional pharmaceuticals. Thanks so much to Dr. Mamata Chitharki for explaining our audience all what everyone should know about diabetes. The You Can Be Healthier channel recommends you to consult your healthcare provider before starting any new medical or natural treatments. We invite you to visit our website where you will find out informative articles healthy recipes, and products ideas to improve your health in a natural way. Choose to be healthy and stay safe until our next video. Follow us on Twitter as to be healthier and subscribe now to our YouTube channel. Remember we are your trustworthy online resource on natural health, and always keep in mind that prevention is better than cure. Thank you for watching. My name is Ron Hammond, and this is the You Can Be Healthier TV channel by Wings of Love.